one of the things that struck me was that in Fifty Shades, you had to be super comfortable with your body, and yet you have to portray somebody who is so uncomfortable. How easy or difficult was that for you? I think I have like a sort of, um, you know, inner awkwardness and um, lack of confidence maybe uh, in my own self. And I, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that. I mean, most people have that. We all have insecurities about the way we look, the way we feel, the way we sound, you know. Um, and uh, I played a lot of characters, as you say, Christian Grey, who who has a lot of uh, belief and confidence in the way he looks and the way he sounds and, and, and it likes to be in control of things. And then you've got Anthony Riley, who is the polar opposite of that and uh, is very uncomfortable in his own skin and, and, and uncomfortable a communicator. And I think that's probably a bit closer to who I am, you know, and, and certainly a character that I haven't had an opportunity to play before. So, um, yeah, I, I, I loved uh, living inside his awkward skin. <laughs> If you were an animal or an insect, which one would you be? You know, my kids ask me this all the time, um, uh, particularly my, our seven-year-old, um, who really, uh, out of the three, is the trickiest to get to sleep, and she just never wants to go to sleep, and she's always keeping you in the room, asking you questions, asking you questions. And she always asks me that, and I, it's a monkey. It's a stock answer for me every time it's a monkey. Um, I, um, that's how I feel is my sort of spirit animal and the energy I have. <laughs> um, you have such a great relationship with your father in this. Did you feed on your own relationship with your dad? Do you have like a special memory? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, 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 I do have a great relationship with my dad. I'm very lucky to say that. And the weird, you know, I haven't got to see my dad now in, um, in uh since christmas last year you know and um it's funny there's a lot of complications in their relationship too you know in in, in the movie you know and um lack of trust uh between the two and and and, and definitely arguments and complications and you know i think every father-son relationship can have an element of that and um i probably had a couple with my dad but i have to say on a on a on a general level um, we've had a pretty conflict free uh, relationship, which has been kind of great. And I'm really, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm really thankful to the, for that, you know, and uh, like, you know, I just, I'm really missing my dad at the moment. I have to say, you know, I, he's, he's out in the Middle East actually um, in Bahrain. And uh, I don't know when I'm next going to see him, you know, it's going to probably be about a year and a half from not seeing him, you know, and, that's uh, yeah. I've, I've been, I've been, we've been pretty good during lockdown of of uh, FaceTimes and stuff. You're so lucky to to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, in the movie, he gets a gift of a white coat, totally inappropriate. Um, I loved it. What is the worst gift that you've received? <laughs> or um... that's a good question. Well, um, I could tell you the worst gift I ever gave. Um, I don't want to be harsh about some of the gifts I, I, I've received, which I haven't, you know, loved. I'm always pretty thankful. I don't like getting gifts. I'll say that. I'm, I'm someone who doesn't, um, particularly as I've got older, I, it, it doesn't do a lot for me to get a gift. I'm always a little bit like, I don't really need it. Like, uh, you know, I don't really want it. And, um, and like Christmas, I've told nobody to buy, buy me stuff. But I, I'm, I'm not a great present buyer. I'm very historically not. I'm better now, but when I was a kid, when my sister was like 17 or something, I bought her like a big giant stuffed tiger, like a, like a cuddly toy tiger when she was like 17 and laughed. <laughs> and I remember being really confused by her confusion. I, I couldn't believe why she wasn't ecstatic that I got her this stupid thing. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty bad at buying presents. It sounds like the perfect gift to me. <laughs> um, it was such a delight to watch you in this movie. I laughed out loud and I also felt very deeply. So thank you for your time. Um, and I'm going to watch it again. Thanks, Margaret. Thanks very much. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. See you later.